Hello, I'm Caroline Mullier. I'm one of the children's diabetes nurses and I'm going to talk to you today about how to give an injection of insulin using a pen device. There are several different types of pen devices and the main differences are that they are disposable pens which get thrown away once they've been finished and there are pens that have cartridges in. The other difference is that some pens dial up in half units and some pens dial up in full units. Depending on what pen you use, your uh, individual diabetes nurse will run through how your pen works. So for, for now I'm going to tell you how, show you how to give a, an injection. So the first thing you need to do is remove the cap and then you need to put a new needle on and it's important to use a new needle every time. So first of all you peel the top off and then you screw the needle onto the, the pen top. Then you remove the two covers and then you remove this cover and then it's important that you keep this cover in order to take your new your needle back off. Okay. So when you put a new needle on, it's important that we fill the needle up using an, what's called an air shot. So to do an air shot, um, you need to, first of all, pull this cap out, dial up to two units, and then push the plunger until you see a drop of insulin out of the needle. If you don't see a drop of insulin, it's important to redial. So when you've prepared your new needle, then you dial up the dose that you've calculated. So for this demonstration, I'm going to dial up four units. So again, pull your pen cap out, dial up four units, and on this pen, each click is half a unit. Once you've set your dose, then you're ready to do an injection. So you need to put your hand round your pen with your thumb on the top and then you've got to choose your injection site. On your injection site it's important to do a gentle pinch up, so we we'll pinch up gently and then you're injecting 90 degrees, so straight in. Once you're in you then press the plunger and then it's important to count to 10 seconds in order that it minimises the insulin leakage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you remove your needle and then the next step is safe disposal of that needle. So use your large cap, unscrew the needle until it releases and then drop it into the box. So it's important not to store an old needle on there so you can replace the cover. Once you've given an injection, the dial is reset to zero. And what I will now show you is um, whereabouts you can do injections. So on this diagram, it gives you some nice examples of the different places of injections. You can see that there are arms and you can do it on buttocks. You can do it on your abdomen and you can do it on your thighs. And again, it depends on the age of your child as the most appropriate site. So it's, again, it's important to discuss this with your diabetes nurse. One of the other diagrams which is important to show you is making sure that you do that pinch up uh, correctly. So it's important. What we want to do is do a gentle pinch up just to lift the fatty tissue. If you do a, a, a tight pinch up, you may be pulling up some of the muscle. So that's important that you don't do it too narrow, but that you're doing it fairly gently just to, to lift the, the, the fatty tissue up. Okay, and that's how to do an injection.